Ashok Rodriguez here of the Ford engineering team and um, where did you bring us here? It's pretty cold and um, a lot of snow. What are we going to do here? Yeah, so then we're up at uh, Smithers Scientific uh, and uh, we're about to run uh, some all-wheel drive uh, lane change and slalom events. We're going to get a feel for the stability control system on the vehicle, how it helps us guide us through as well as how the all-wheel drive system makes sure that we've powered the rear wheels so that the vehicle can turn in adequately and make it through a, a lane change and slalom type event. Okay, and, uh, and we are in a 20, 2014 Ford this is a, a 20, 2013 Ford Escape all-wheel drive. Okay, let's try to see. I mean, I'm sure the, the car can do the things, but let's see how the driver can react to this thing. So we are simulating, you say, a line change? Lane change. Right, the, the cones that are set up in front of us are for a, a kind of an emergency lane change. So we're going to start off uh, what at about speed? the speed, we're about 20 miles per hour where we're at right now, and then we're going to accelerate, actually, as we go through the event to force that system to have to work harder. To what, 30 or something? Yeah, sure, just do, just do a moderate acceleration. And we can try it again uh, at uh, different speeds, too, if you'd like. Now we're going to try a slalom event, so just um, just powering the vehicle uh, through the uh, turn. You'll feel the brake system uh, firing as we go through it. It's going to be basically pulling on those inside wheels in order to uh, to help us uh, maneuver through the uh, through the cones. This safety technology really helps uh, the, the drivers, even if they're as experienced uh, in like difficult situations with um, right, exactly. weather conditions and all that. And I was pretty interesting to hear that uh, you're selling a lot of cars not only in, in, in areas where the snow, the winter is uh, with, with snow and all that, but also like in Miami, like where there's more rain than, than snow, but uh, the system also works in those conditions. Exactly. The, um, the, the ability of the all-wheel drive system to send torque to those rear wheels uh, helps the vehicle not just from a traction standpoint, but also, also from a handling standpoint. There's a lot of sophisticated algorithms in the control system to look at where the vehicle's going versus where the driver wants it to go based on their steering wheel angle and other things. I understand it's about four times faster than you can blink your ass. Uh, even, even faster than that. It's reevaluating conditions every about 16 milliseconds. So let's say we, we lose traction on that wheel, so the system is intelligent enough to compensate that moving the, the traction to another, the other right, side of exactly. wheels. Right, exactly. If it sees that we've lost traction on one side, it will immediately send uh, send traction uh, back to either the rear wheels and or to the, uh, to the wheels on the other side of the vehicle. We've actually got two systems working. There's the four-wheel drive system, which okay. is going to be biasing that torque front to rear, and then there's the, uh, the brake traction control and stability system, which will bias the torque side to side. Both those systems are set up to provide handling, but they're also set up to uh, basically, um, well, to, they're both set up to provide traction, but they're also set up to provide handling to make sure that if you're even in a warm weather climate, yeah. that the vehicle feels much more nimble and will turn in crisply and react well to situations like this lane change. So in, 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 few, in fewer words, it improves hand, uh, performance and safety. Right, it's, it's prov providing traction and providing uh, handling. So it's both for safety and for performance. Excellent. So, and, and the system is always on, you cannot take it, uh, Right. The, right? the all-wheel drive system is always on. You can disable parts of the traction control system, the uh, the engine intervention part of that, if you are, say, for example, off-road. But if a situation like this, for maximum uh, safety and stability, the, the system is just always on, always doing its thing. What happens if I like suddenly break really hard here? Uh, well, you'll um, you'll get stability control and a combination of that with the, the, the analog brake system. If we're going a straight line here, just to make sure that the vehicle basically keeps going the way you pointed it. You've got your analog brake system uh, working. It's amazing how much uh, 
computer ability can you put in a car? A lot of work behind that, there, right? There's a lot of, a lot of uh, processing that's going on behind the scenes here. It's, it's not magic. <laughs> How long? How long that it's something like this is? I, I guess it's constant work because I mean you always develop new things. But how long it's a project like this? Well, it, it depends. Some of the core technologies are, are developed kind of in an advanced system. Then about two years before a vehicle's launched, we start getting our first prototypes and applying the system directly to that and, and tuning it. Uh, so it's usually about a two-year process before that vehicle is actually uh, starting to get launched out to customers. Well, excellent uh, for the great job, and uh, thank you very much for the opportunity of having us here. Thanks.